So this evening I'm looking for some artwork to share with a young person who came to visit to help them to understand the past history of a man who's been a victim of identity theft, cybercrime, and fraud. And as I look through my files, what I discover is how much work that I just did over the last month that has now been destroyed by the hackers of the computer of my life. This current computer had several files and a lot of volume of work, a lot of revisions, a lot of rewrites, a lot of things for my potential employer on it. But what I'm finding now is that those folders are completely gone, that all that hard work is completely obliterated. I would like very much for the young man and the young woman doing this to me to go to prison. I feel that they should be found guilty in a court of law because their computers carries a signature and that signature proves that they did not have the right to be anywhere near me or my computer. Somehow, while I was sleeping, either during the day or at night, they got onto my computer and reset the date of the computer, which means all the work I did in the last month has disappeared. What kind of an asshole of Satan would do something like to that to a person who is struggling in poverty and trying to get a job. The craziness of people is their belief that they have the right to continue to disparage, to discredit, and to harm people who are already battling all kinds of abuse. The liars of America do this. The satanic forces that come in from Honduras, Mexico, India, and foreign nations like China and Korea do this out of a disregard for human life. Young people, teenagers do this out of a curiosity of wanting to see what someone does for work, but then they think, oh, let's have fun. Let's just make a joke out of this person's life. And they get on to a computer through a back door or through a Wi-Fi network or through illegal and immoral behavior like I have found that someone has gotten into my bag several times to steal cords and other things from me that are not their right because they were purchased by me to do. And in life, we have most of the time to speak the truth that the Lord God of all things, all creatures, great and small, looks down upon you and says, how dare you interfere with my rights to be the God of that individual? You see, the person that does something like that wants to be a God in their mind. They want to have power in their privilege and they don't deserve any privilege, but they do deserve full and total responsibility. You see, we have the three R's that can be expanded into, well, the seven or eight R's, but the reality is that in life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and the basics of the three R's, what is your role? Clearly, you are an aggressor and an abuser. What are the rules? The rules say you're not supposed to touch another person's computer, cell phone, laptop, or work. And responsibilities are what are you willing and able to do to keep yourself in the light of God and not dabbling in the dark of Satan, the aggressor, the assaulter, the assistant to Satan. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and the antagonist of your stupid fairy tale life just made you think that you had rights to get on someone's computer. And destroy hundreds of hours and thousands of dollars of potential income for someone's life. How dare you think you have the right to do that? Why on earth would you think to do that? What is wrong with your brain? What is wrong with your heart? What is wrong with your soul? And why do you not understand how wrong you have behaved? In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and no person of God does such damaging things without being understood, is not true, without being seen by the Lord.